It was shopkeepers in towns all over England last night who bore the brunt of the hooligans' anger at England's World Cup defeat. Just after the match ended, gangs of drunken youths poured out onto the streets, hell-bent on any sort of destruction. They smashed shop windows and looted pubs. In their desperation to find an appropriate target, the hooligans wrecked any German-made cars they could find. In Southampton, a 33-year-old man was killed when he tried to stop a gang of youths who were breaking down a fence. In the south coast resort of Brighton, anti-riot police had to be called in to disperse marauding gangs. Several hundred West German and French students had to barricade themselves into two nightclubs for protection. British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher said she was dismayed by what she called the mindless vandalism. The Police Federation called for prison sentences for youths who assaulted police in the disturbances. In Turin, where last night's match was played, it was very much the same story, with German, English and Italian fans fighting it out. Riot police then moved in and took control.